Hello, Aries. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. Um, the last reading I did, I was getting that you have two potential life partners that are coming in rather quickly. And it's it might be really unexpected. It might be an ex and then also a new person coming in. And I don't think you're going to see it coming. I think it's like sudden communication that you're not really expecting. Enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany. Innovation. Sacrifice. Offering up something. I'm going to go. Redemption, absolution, forgiveness, penance. Madness, ecstatic ritual, energy release. I feel a lot of psychic energy here. I feel like either you or your person are having these epiphanies. And I feel like maybe your person is realizing they have to sacrifice their their ego. They have to sacrifice whatever's been holding them back. I just feel like the divine is is stepping in and removing these blocks between you two. And this person is seeking forgiveness. Um, could be a lot of passionate energy here coming in quick. Empathy, kindness, seeing something from a new perspective. Obsession. Someone like maybe an ex or someone coming back around and giving this a second chance. Like I think they're they're um, looking at this situation differently. They're they're realizing their role in it. They're realizing, you know, that they did this to themselves. They put themselves in that energy. They they blocked themselves from you. Ancient, ancient uh, ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. So there's a lot of like spiritual magical energy. Could be um, witchcraft involved in this situation too. Someone trying to manifest you back through witchcraft. I'm going to go ahead and get a deeper look into this and see what's going on. And that's been a pretty consistent energy is that you have like the love of your life that you've either just met or that you're going to meet in the near future. But the last reading I was I did, I was getting, um, this is like two weeks ago, I was getting that there's actually two potential life partners. So I think what I just channeled was the ex, you know, someone who maybe took you for granted in the past or maybe someone who blamed you for why the connection didn't work out or they sabotaged it or they told themselves you know that you guys weren't compatible and it's like they're having these epiphanies now there's this very psychic energy that's coming in here it's like the divine is just tired of you being on this merry-go-round and they're they're stepping in to you know bring you the kind of life and the kind of love they are asking for so you do have that x as an option coming back around it looks like for most of you but you also have the new person who might be more compatible with you you know like do you really want this x coming back around when they do is it really worth it to go? Like, yes, they're having these epiphanies finally. Yes, they're finally starting to appreciate you. They're finally starting to recognize that this is a divine connection. They're finally giving in to that psychic energy between you two. But it's like, do you want that? Is it worth it or is it too little too late? You know, let's see what else is going on. Reconciliation. Yeah. Someone had to take some time out to pause and reflect and rest. And I feel like maybe your um, energy shifted too. Like you're really coming into your power. You're really in this energy of abundance of, you know, making the world your oyster, manifesting the kind of life that you want. And I feel like maybe you took some time out and maybe your person, maybe you guys were on a break, whatever it might be. It's like someone took some time out to re reflect and rest and just pause and it's like now they're this person, this ex is noticing that your energy has shifted. Like you're stepping into your power. You're, you know, you're making your life what you want it to be. You're in this in a, this energy of reconciliation. I feel like there was anger and miscommunication with this ex. Might have been like a lot of passion and romance, so like a lot of emotion between you two. But there's also like the negative side of that, at least in this in this scenario of you know anger and miscommunication and it's like they didn't really completely understand you and I feel like they're meditating now or they're um they could be doing magic to manifest you back for some of you I feel like they're really reflecting on this situation though and they're trying to manifest this reconciliation because they're starting to look at they have like an epiphany like I don't know if maybe recently they had a dream about you or 
they're just seeing the signs and synchronicities or there's something clicked. It could be Mercury retrograde energy too. You know, that always makes people more introspective and puts them in sort of a meditative space. And sometimes that energy, you know, also brings exes back as well. It makes them nostalgic. So it's like this person is going back and really thinking about, they're kind of obsessing over times that you've had, like memories, um, you know, places you've gone together, things you've said to them, things they've said to you, how you guys connected. And it's like something just clicked. Like there was just some sort of, and I feel like it was divine. It feels like a psychic energy. It almost feels like you've been stuck on this to some degree. And it's like your guides have just sort of come in and said, you know, enough is enough. And it's like, they just, I don't know if they gave this person a dream or they just, there was something that happened in the higher realms where they just made something click for this person. So this ex has just had this epiphany where they're realizing their role in why this connection didn't work. You know, the miscommunication or, you know, their their tendency to sabotage things, their tendency to, to, to be cold, guarded, distrusting, to create issues where there aren't any. You know, it's like you had that passion and that love and it's like it could have gone two different ways. It could go towards anger and arguments and miscommunication and silent treatments or it can go towards, you know, passion, romance, connection, you know, healthier outlets here. And, you know, it's like they were cold and guarded and distrusting. And I feel like in the past, they just blamed you for it, for whatever it was. Like you guys, they were saying, you know, we, they would tell themselves you weren't compatible or it was the wrong time for them or um, just too too much miscommunication, too many, too much silence, too many games here. And now it's like with this epiphany that's just come in, they're going back and they're looking at that and they're. They have this new perspective now. So they're thinking about things that you've said in the past and they're looking at them in a whole new light where they're like, oh, maybe, maybe that was miscommunication. Maybe he or she wasn't trying to reject me or push me away. Maybe that's just how I saw it because of my own insecurities. It's like they're finally starting to take responsibility for themselves. They're finally recognizing their role in this connection they're finally realizing where they went wrong and what they could have done differently. Um, so it's a really beautiful energy that they're just, they're finally noticing that they're finally going back and like reliving these conversations, reliving these moments with you. And, and um, they're finally starting to understand what you were trying to say or, or just the way that you guys interacted. There was something where there was just a lot of like misunderstandings or like maybe, maybe they were so insecure that it's like every little thing that you did, they saw as rejection. And now they're realizing that you were never rejecting them. You were just speaking your truth. Um, could be another fire sign too, for some of you. Yeah. Now they want to come back in. They want to plan this approach. They want to choose their words wisely. They... They just, they had this epiphany is just beautiful because it's like the, this big push from the higher realms where it's like something just clicked, something just, and it could be that they needed to go on their own path for a while and they need to, needed to focus on themselves and better their lives and they needed to develop genuine confidence. And now that they're starting to really see more of the world and starting to develop this confidence, now it's like they can go back to their old relationships and think about them and realize you know, that they were looking through the eyes of insecurity in the past. And now they're starting to just understand it. They're starting to understand the things that you were trying to say before. The things that always just seemed angry or just seemed like rejection or seemed like drama or whatever. Now they're looking at it in a different light. Or maybe even in like pos more positive aspects like you saying you know, that you wanted a relationship or you wanted them to figure it out. Like maybe they just saw it as being clingy before and it's like, well, that was their fears and their phobias and their commitment issues that was making it, making everything you said and did see, come off the wrong way, you know? Uh, and now they're like looking at it differently. They're like, oh, this, this makes more sense now. They're looking at it from, um, like it's a very spiritual energy, like almost like they're, they're kind of like going through this awakening process. Maybe they went through a dark round of the soul recently for some of you. And it's like, they're just, it's like a very psychic spiritual energy, like just kind of like just, just pure enlightenment, pure, just seeing everything in such a different perspective, like letting go of this toxicity, letting go of their own negativity, taking responsibility for themselves finally. So it's like, maybe they're just, 
you know, whatever it is that he did in the past, it's like they're thinking about it in a much different way now. They're like that, like, oh, I shouldn't have taken it that way. Like, oh, he or she wasn't trying to be negative or clingy or reject me or whatever. It's like they're, it, it's like they're, they're recognizing that their, their commitment issues and their insecurities made them misinterpret your energy. Could have been a third party situation or something or maybe karmic partners in the past that made them insecure and now they're working on letting that go because they know they need to heal and move on from those karmic partners and the damage they caused yeah sex seduction could be a sex addict for some of them <laughs> or like submissive to like being seduced and now they're they're moving past that energy they're moving past that energy now. Yeah, they're moving fast too. What else do you want to say about this connection? Now they're starting to feel the sadness because they realize that they missed this off that they might have missed this opportunity with you by, you know, sabotaging it and misinterpreting it. It's like they're having these epiphanies and they're like, oh crap, like that could have actually worked out like that. They didn't, they weren't hurting me. They weren't rejecting me. They weren't doing this or that. Like they, it's like you did want them. You did love them. You weren't trying to control them or smother them or do whatever they thought you were trying to do. It's like they're understanding that now and now they feel this pain because maybe a long time has gone by since you guys have talked. So there's like this sense of hesitation and mixed feelings because they're like, is this person even going to want me? <laughs> like, are they even going to want me back? Could be mental instability on their side or yours. This is a potential life partner, but like I said, you do also have a third potential life partner coming through or a, not a third maybe a third for some of you I don't know why I said third uh, I was going to say a second potential life partner maybe some of you have a couple exes coming back around and a new person on top of it you drop this open honest communication message so they're wanting to be open and honest with you they're wanting to I feel like there's like an awkwardness though because they haven't they maybe haven't talked to you for a while or maybe it's like I feel like for most of you they haven't talked for a while or it's been really like short you know like they haven't said much like they haven't said what they need to say choose a path beauty mystery enchantment yeah they're wanting to come through here they might have had a dream about you recently or there might have been some kind of telepathic communication that has come in with this full moon that we just had on the 28th I feel like there's a lot of sight. There's a lot of really strong psychic energy between the two of you right now, and they can't really ignore it any longer. But in the physical, it's more complicated because they're like, if it, if you haven't talked for a while, they're like, okay, what do I say though? Like, like how do I, like how do I come through? What do, how do I communicate this? You know, they want to be vulnerable and open. They want to get past that. It's. It's sort of like the like the like the higher realms like the divine just broke them open and now they're just vulnerable and it's like they can't really ignore this anymore you know they're being forced to face this <laughs> and they want to come through with this apology with this regret for how they treated you you know overthinking overanalyze that's what that's what they've done in the past and they're trying to get out of that energy of overthinking overanalyzing and self sabotaging they're trying to get in trying to get in this energy where. Like, they can just be honest with you and open with you finally. Could be stalking you for some of you. Let's see what the new person's about, though, because there's also a new person that's either just come in or coming in, and you might be a better bet. Truth, clarity. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. So that's that new energy. Could be traveling to meet someone, too, or having them travel to you. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like a new start. You see this passion right here? Like, got truth and clarity, and then we have, um, see adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Do you see that? That's just like, that's a new start. That's true love. That's, that's, that's traveling together. That's, you know, the honeymoon phase, just passion, romance, just being, you know, enthralled by each other. Divine intervention, synchronicity is also bringing this connection in. Because the ex might be, even though the ex is a life partner, they still might be part of a pattern that you had with people that had control issues or um, were just mentally unstable, um, mentally, like just not emotionally available. Like control, I don't know why I said control issues. That's interesting. 
maybe for some of you. Um, okay, so so the divine, you might have had this pet like with the ex. So again, two different life partners here. The, with this ex that wants to apologize, it's having all these epiphanies. They, it's like you might have a pattern with with men like that or women like that. You know, people who are kind of emotionally unavailable or controlling or um, narcissistic or just some sort of pattern. And it's like, have you guys seen that movie? Uh, oh, my God. What is that movie called? It's going to frustrate the freak out of me. What is that movie called? I think it's called He's Just Not That Into You. And, like, if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about where this guy is, like, mentoring this woman and he's telling her all about the different dating patterns and how, like, you know, if a guy is not chasing you, he's just not into you. And if he's not doing this and that, he's not into you. And then at the end, it's like he turns out, it turns out he's into her and like he's playing hard to get. And, you know, that was one of his dating roles is that there's that one exception. Like most of the men you date that are like that are going to be emotionally unavailable. But then there's that one exception of the man who really is just damaged but does love you deep down. Um, but it's like rare. And I kind of get that man or woman either way. And I kind of get that energy with the ex. It's like that's like the rare exception. But it's still a pattern that you had. And, and so it's like you might have this, like you can have this breakthrough and this freedom from, the, from this pattern and just say, I want the new person instead. I want this new start with someone else, you know. You can take that mask off and look at this hidden truth and heal that pattern, really stepping into your power, um, leveling up with finances, going forward because you you could have a better love so it's up to you you have two different paths you can go down and I get this energy commonly lately with the people that are drawn to my channel so it's like if you're drawn to my channel there's a good chance that you have two potential life partners it's not just for Aries it's probably for like nine or ten of the zodiacs that I do so um so yeah you have new love that's different than this ex and different than anything you've ever known you just have to you know choose that path what do you want so I hope this resonates I do private readings my contact info is below. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. My PayPal link is right below. It just takes 20 seconds. Uh, it all really adds up quickly. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. And oh, subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.